Susanna York was a famous actress known for her unforgettable performances in movies. People often remember her best for a particular film or play she starred in. Each person might have a different favorite. As we explore her life and career, we discover many interesting and emotional stories. Which of Susanna York's roles do you like the most? Do you have a special memory related to her work? Share your stories in the comments below and stay tuned for more fun facts. Susanna York was a famous actress known for her unforgettable performances in movies. She played a variety of roles that show with how talented and adaptable she was. If you're new to her movies, here are some you should definitely watch. And they shoot horses, don't they? She played a convincing part as a dancer during the Great Depression, which got a lot of praise and even got her nominated for an Academy Award. Another great movie to see her in is Tom Jones, where she showed what off her charm and humor alongside a fantastic cast in a classic comedy. If you like movies that mess with your head, check out Images, where she plays a woman who's slowly losing her grip on reality. In A Man for All Seasons, she did a great job as Margaret Moore, showing she could handle serious historical dramas too. If you want to see some of her earlier work, The Killing of Sister George is a good one to watch. It's a bit controversial, but it really shows off her talent for playing complicated characters with lots of depth. Whether you're into her famous roles or the ones not as many people know about, watching Susanna York's movies is like taking a trip through some really great cinema. Susanna York, the celebrated actress, is often mistaken for fellow British actor Michael York, even though they're not related. They starred together in Conduct Unbecoming in 1975. Interestingly, neither of them was born with the last name York. There's a rumor that she declined the CBE honor. She appeared in two movies that won Best Picture at the Academy Awards Tom Jones in 1963 and A Man for All Seasons in 1966. Her career showcased her versatility. And they shoot horses, don't they? She played a dancer during the Great Depression and got an Academy Award nomination. Her charm and humor shone in Tom Jones, a classic comedy. Images delved into psychological depth with her playing a woman losing touch with reality. A Man for All Seasons displayed her skill in serious historical dramas. The killing of Sister George demonstrated her talent for intricate characters. Her films offer a journey through exceptional cinema, whether exploring her famous roles or lesser-known gems. What's your favorite performance of hers? Share your thoughts below. Stay tuned for more interesting insights. Susanna York, the celebrated actress, worked alongside Nigel Davenport in four films Sands of the Kalahari, A Man for All Seasons, Sebastian, and A Christmas Carol. She also conceived and adapted the loves of Shakespeare's women, inspired by John Gielgud's one-man show The Ages of Man. In Superman IV The Quest for Peace, she voiced Lara, Superman's mother, due to Marlon Brando's unavailability. The original script had Brando's character, Jor-El, speaking, but York stepped in for the role. Her versatility and adaptability shone through in various projects throughout her career, showcasing her talent in both historical dramas and psychological depth. Share your thoughts below. Stay tuned for more interesting insights. Susanna York's life wasn't just about playing memorable roles on screen. It was also marked by challenging personal relationships and other struggles. In her professional journey, she showcased adaptability and talent, taking on various roles, including collaborating with Nigel Davenport in four films like Sands of the Kalahari and A Christmas Carol. She also demonstrated her creative side by conceiving and adapting the loves of Shakespeare's women, inspired by John Gielgud's one-man show, The Ages of Man. In Superman for The Quest for Peace, she stepped into a role originally meant for Marlon Brando due to his unavailability. Her versatility shone through as she voiced Lara, Superman's mother, showcasing her ability to navigate diverse projects from historical dramas to superhero films. Her personal relationships, particularly with fellow actor Michael York, often led to misconceptions despite no blood relation. The rumors surrounding her supposed decline of the CBE honor added another layer to her enigmatic persona. Susanna York's life, both on and off the screen, exemplified her ability to navigate the various aspects of human experiences. Her journey, filled with triumphs and tribulations, adds depth to the narrative of a celebrated actress who left a lasting impact on the cinematic landscape. Susanna York, known for her impactful performances, extended her talents beyond acting, venturing into children's literature. In 1973, she authored In Search of Unicorns, followed Wood by Lark's Castle in 1975, showcasing her versatility as both an actress and a writer. 
A graduate of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, York's commitment to her craft elevated her to the status of an associate member of RAHDA. Her influence expanded beyond the stage and screen. She served on the jury at the Cannes Film Festival in 1979 and later at the Berlin International Film Festival in 1992. In the film, they shoot horses, don't they? She portrayed Alice, a role that earned her the sole Oscar nomination of her career. Her ability to immerse herself in diverse characters was evident, ranging from a dancer in the Great Depression to historical dramas, exemplified in A Man for All Seasons. Her contribution to cinema extended beyond acting. York's literary endeavors and involvement in prestigious film festivals underscored her versatile talents. The intricacy of her characters and her adaptability resonated with audiences, making her a noteworthy figure in the cinematic landscape. Susanna York's involvement in theater went beyond acting, as seen in her personal translation of The Human Voice. Notably, she took the translated work on tour during 1984-85, showcasing linguistic skills and dedication to the craft. Her diverse interests included languages, walking, and a deep love for the theater. Fluent in French, she immersed herself in a world extending beyond the stage. In 1979, she participated in a TV documentary titled 20 Years On, where five Royal Academy of Dramatic Art friends reunited. The program, airing on BBC Two on February 4, 1979, highlighted the varied paths each had taken, with Susanna York standing out as the star among them. Known for adaptability, she seamlessly transitioned from acting to translating and touring, showcasing her talents in different areas. Her hobbies reflected a balanced life with a passion for languages aligning with her love for the theater. Susanna York's journey through different realms of the entertainment industry, from translation to documentary appearances, adds depth to her legacy. Her dedication to her craft and versatility connect with audiences, making her a compelling figure in the cinematic landscape. This portrayal of Susanna York's life illustrates a person who effortlessly moved between various aspects of the entertainment industry, showcasing talent and commitment in each endeavor. Susanna York, a highly regarded actress, openly favored working with Robert Altman, deeming him the best director she collaborated with. This acknowledgement sheds light on their creative partnership's significance and how it influenced her career. In 1991, the French culture minister, Jack Lang, honored her with the Officer of the Order of Arts and Letters, recognizing her artistic achievements. This prestigious award highlights Susanna York's international recognition and appreciation for her work in the arts. As a mother, she shared the screen with her children, Orlando Wells and Sasha Wells, in A Christmas Carol, where they played her characters on screen offspring. This unique family collaboration adds a touching dimension to her filmography, showcasing a personal connection within her professional achievements. Susanna York had a diverse career, collaborating with Nigel Davenport in several films like Sands of the Kalahari, A Man for All Seasons, Sebastian, and A Christmas Carol. Additionally, she showcased her versatility in literature by authoring works like In Search of Unicorns and Lark's Castle, demonstrating talents beyond acting. In Superman for the Quest for Peace, she took on the role of Laura, Superman's mother, due to Marlon Brando's unavailability. This adaptation demonstrates her adaptability, seamlessly transitioning from traditional acting to voice work in a superhero film. Beyond the screen, Susanna York delved into theater, translating the human voice, and touring with the translated work in 1984-85. This linguistic skill and dedication to her craft showcased her various talents, enriching her legacy. The recognition from the French government and her collaborative efforts with her own children and A Christmas Carol reflect the varied and meaningful facets of her life and career. Her journey, marked by collaborations, awards, and family connections, stands as a tribute to her impact on the cinematic landscape. 